So I click record. The first thing I see is the bin, just there. So just in case you hadn't noticed it, I thought I'd point it out to you. Good morning, everybody, on this dull, miserable morning. Let's start with the obligatory apology about the rubbishy light. I can't find my ring light. I mean, it's a blooming great thing on a stand. I don't know what I could have done with it, but I can't find it. I've only had a cursory glance around, to be honest, but um, I can't find it. Anyway, so I thought we'd I'd film here with the bin and the fridge and the dishwasher noise in the background and the washing machine noise from downstairs in the background, probably. So, yeah, very professional YouTube setup today and breathe. Um, a few weeks ago I did a home bargains haul and it's been one of my most viewed videos ever and uh, bizarrely and this week I had occasion to go to home bargains again because I needed some toothpaste. It's all the glamour here people, all the glamour. Um, so as you do when you go to home bargains I went in for a tube of toothpaste and came in with two carrier came out with two carrier bagfuls so I just thought I'd show you what I bought because obviously it went down well last time so I thought I'd show you what I got I've got my coffee it's feeling quite wintry this morning a bit miserable and dull outside although good for eBay photography so can't complain right let's start with the toothpaste that I bought, Aquafresh. Two tubes of this, there must be another one somewhere. There is, here, 95p I, each. I always buy my um, toothpaste from Home Bargains. It's cheap, cheap, cheap there, love it. Next, and I think this happened last time with some Caramac buttons, white chocolate milky bar buttons. Ashley and I have polished off the whole bag over the last two evenings in front of the telly. God, I love these. I don't love them as much as I love Caramac buttons, but this time they didn't have any Caramac buttons in there, which is very inconvenient. They've always got Milky Bar buttons, but Caramac buttons are a bit... Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. I think there's a lot of lines like that in Home Bargains, that um, sometimes they've got it, sometimes they haven't. I do a line of... Um, something I buy in there for retail arbitrage that I just tick over all the time. When I see them in there, I'll pick them up and they didn't have any this time. That was an interesting aside, bearing in mind, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, isn't it? Um, very uninteresting. So yes, Milky Bar Buttons, yummy. They were 99p. Here's another home bargain staple, shower puffs. Some people love these and some people hate them. I'm in the love camp. I know that they can get a bit bacteria ridden and funky in the shower, but I do change them regularly. And this was only 39p. This, I'm pretty sure this is even cheaper than Wilco's do these for 49p, I think. But yeah, 39 in home bugs. There's all sorts of colours. You don't have to have pink. And I always use one of these. So um, lovely. I find that they make the shower gel really foam up much better than just using a flannel or just your hands or whatever. So yeah. 40, 39p, that was a bargain. I got some hair dye. I spent £83 yesterday, actually technically £93, but I had a £10 voucher. £83 having my hair done. You wouldn't think it, judging by the way it looks today, would you? But if they style my hair, it never stays in for more than one day. And it's, it feels like bloody straw. The amount of product I made her put on it. She um, curled it with the straighteners. So clever that. I can't do that myself. I must teach myself to do it. But yeah, all the curls come out. But the straightening bit seems to have stayed in. And it looks like straw. Anyway, yeah, I had it all highlighted. And some darker colour. It was meant to be like a caramelly colour. But it's sort of not quite as caramelly as I wanted it. But I'm quite pleased with the colour. It's a little bit darker for winter. But... And I also had it cut. But yeah, I bought this. I love that colour, steel it's called. Um, is it called steel? Yes. I thought I might try that, but I don't know if my hair's too dark to take it. Now it's only for blonde. It's a wash in, wash out one as well. It's eight, eight washes, maximum of eight washes. Lasts up to eight washes, non-permanent. So I think maybe I need to wait till my hair's a bit blonder to actually put that on because I don't think it will have much effect. Um, that was £3.49. They also had a more silvery one as well in that range. Haven't seen those ones in there before. What else did we get? 
little eye makeup remover pads. There's a pack of two there and there is 30 in each pack. I go on and off whether I use um, wipes to take my makeup off and I generally don't. I definitely don't at home but I have taken a pack the last couple of times I've been on holiday because let's face it they're convenient aren't they? They might not be the best for the environment or the best for your face but they are convenient but um I've not seen these ones just for eye makeup before and they've got aloe vera and I just thought they would be quite um, nice to try. I'm just looking to see how much they were. They weren't very much money at all. 69p for the two packs. So I didn't think that was bad. I will take one on holiday with me when I go to Greece next weekend and report back. Bin bags. We're just all of the glamour, like I said before just it doesn't stop does it um lemon fragranced bin bags i've got these bin bags at the moment in my bin that well obviously they're in my bin they aren't quite big enough for the bin so when you put stuff in, they they sort of go over the edge of it and it's fine but as soon as you put anything in the whole thing collapses in on itself and it's so annoying i can't even tell you how annoying it is um so I got these ones which are bigger and lemon fragranced. Ashley was muttering the other day that the bin was stinky. Um, I thought, God, if you make as much effort, to, if you spent as much time cleaning the bin because it's stinky rather than moaning about how stinky it is, the world would be a better place, Ashley. Honestly, it would. But yes, Thai Handle Lemon Fragranced Swing Bin Liners. They were 69p or 79p. One of the two. They were less than a quid. Candle time. I was so impressed. I've talked a bit in my vlog, I think, or one video, about the big candle I bought last time, which was the apple and cinnamon one, the Wickford one, and it's so good. And I bought the small gingerbread one, and I've decided to get the large gingerbread one because it's 2 99 and the apple and cinnamon one is just as good as Yankee sweet apple, just as good. Um, yeah, full-size gingerbread one, just got to have a sniff. God, that's so lovely. Oh, really is lovely. Can't wait to burn that. That's why I was, I was busy this morning and I thought, oh, I'll just film this video, then I can burn this candle. <laughs> So yeah, two ninety nine. They've got another one in the range that's out at the moment, which is a green one, and it's called Christmas Tree or something like that. And it's very, very piney. So if you like that sort of frosted piney smell, that might be worth a try. Uh, I don't mind it, but probably a bit nearer Christmas for me. I might pick one of those up. Um, what next? I actually got two of these. They're car air fresheners. Who remembers Zoom ice lollies? It says Starship there, but Zoom ice lollies. God, they were lovely. I wish they'd bring those back. Um, anyway, yeah, it's a car air freshener and they were 99p each and I got one for me and I got one to put away for William's Christmas stocking. And then when I got home, I remembered that he's going to be 18 in February and he didn't even have a Christmas stocking last year. So why did I buy something for his Christmas stocking? Perhaps I'll do him a Christmas stocking this year maybe let's see they were so did i say they were 99p each um noodles i talked before i bought william some noodles last time didn't i he loves these blimmin noodly things um so i got another one this is the express noodle bowl spicy kung pao it's probably full of the most hideous things um actually it's not there's not any number in sight there so that's not too bad is it yeah, it's all things that I actually know what they are. Um, that was, let me see, 99p that was. Oh, these are so lovely. Because I need some more candles, like I need a hole in my head, literally. A set of three candles, and they're marble, and they're rose gold, and they say, wish love and dream sorry i know you're getting a bit of reflection through the packaging but i just couldn't resist those i thought they were so so pretty don't know where i'm going to put them but actually i do i might put them on a shelf up there in my dresser um yeah i thought they were just lovely so or i might put them just 
almost finished the downstairs bathroom now. So um, I've got the plumber in today. She's gone out, out to get some parts. But um, yeah, they were one ninety nine for the three and I love them. Right, we're on to bag two. And I bought, I think I bought some of these last time, the Rice Thins Chili Crackers. Really like these. They're um, baked, not fried, it says. They're gluten-free and suitable for vegetarians, if that sort of thing rocks your world. And um, they are, I was going to tell you how, much, how many calories they had in them. Per 100 grams, they've got 450 calories. I don't know. I don't know if they're particularly good for you, I suspect probably not, but they just feel like they are because they're rice crackers and they're baked and they taste nice of course as well. They are 69p I think, 79p. Um, deodorant, soft and gentle, this is lotus and watermelon, this is a new one on me, I thought I would give that a crutch. That give that a try. Um, it I like soft and gentle. I've got the yellow one at the moment. I don't know what flavour that is, but I quite like it. It's pleasant enough to use. That was a pound. It was either a pound or ninety nine p. I can't remember which. I got a new mug because life is better with new mugs, isn't it? Um, I've already got. The, they do us two different ones of this. I was gonna say this design, but that's ridiculous. I've got a blue one with sort of little stripes and this is a floral one and I quite like the, it's quite wide. It's almost like a cup type mug. Um, it's indigo blues is the range. It's only £1.39, which I think is an absolute bargain. It's not got, a, I don't like the ones with really thick rims. I like the thin rim ones. Um, so yeah, £1.39. Ashley can't abide these wide mugs at all. So, and now the whole cupboard is almost full with them. We got a packet of mini packets of tissues. I always keep one of these in my bag. I always keep another one in the car. Um, I think Home Bargains is the cheapest place for these as well. 65p for two, four, six, eight, ten packets. You can't say fairer than that, can you? And they've each got ten tissues in. I do believe they have. Got something for Ashley after being horrible about him in this video. <laughs> Um, he loves these jar chilies. Never used to be able to get these in this country. We used to get them when we went to Spain all the time. Um, Guindias, they're called there, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows if I'm wrong. And um, it's hot chilies in brine and vinegar, and they were less than a pound again. They were 79p, so he will be pleased with those. We're getting towards the end. Oh, that's the other... Um, car air freshener that I bought and we've got washing machine cleaner um my washing machine has started smelling a little bit funky I've had my washing machine let me think about this since before William was born yeah before William was born so He's going to be 18 in February. That's a good long time, isn't it? It was a Dyson washing machine. Do you remember when Dyson did washing machines? And it was the first washing machine with a really big drum and it does the contra-rotating thing. I think lots of them do it now. I'm sure they do because it's 18 years old technology. But touch wood, and I am touching wood very hard here. That washing machine has served me really well and is still going. You can't get them repaired anymore. Dyson stopped making them oh years and years ago and stopped servicing and repairing them about five or six years ago i think um so you can't get the parts so if it does break that will be it i will have to get a new washing machine but it it does smell a little bit funky um so i thought i'd get this washing machine cleaner this again i can't remember oh, it was 79p um, stops the build-up of pollution inside your washing machine, sterilises, cleans and protects. And it's a two-pack, that. So, if it works, that's an absolute bargain. I will let you know how I get on with it. And finally, for this video, or for this haul, I bought a packet of these food clips, or packet clips. They're all different sizes. You know the ones when you've got an open packet of something, and they're just clippy ones? I don't know where these go to. They're like socks being eaten by the washing machine. 
I have packets. I get them from Poundland quite often. And they just disappear. And there's, I went to get one the other day and there's just none in the drawer. So when I saw these, I thought I will snap them up because all mine seem to have disappeared again. And they were 69p for 18. And they're quite nice colours as well. Usually I get brightly coloured ones, but I quite like these um, sort of more pastely, tasteful food clips. Right. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, and click the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And um, I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.